All right, let's show you how to get into the computer and start working on the homework. Avengers, time to work for a living. Let's start here in Canvas. The main page you can see has the videos, the, well, this one I'm re-recording for each semester. There's also right up here a little link that says, here's information for the homeworks. And look, here's the videos I'm trying to do right now. And when we get to other homeworks that are more than just the syllabus for homework one, you'll see other videos that talk about those as well. We have over here assignments where you can see the due dates, but that's not really where you want to go. I want to go to modules and under modules here, it says click here for web assignment. For some reason, I can't put this link on the main page, which makes sense to me. No, you have to click it here and I can't do it because I'm not a student. So I guess if this doesn't work, students will let me know, but it worked last semester and it's really great. Now, when you click on this link, it'll ask you to create a Cengage account. If you've already made one, then you can just log in. If, if you're making a new Cengage account for the first time, then it'll probably take you to the Cengage webpage when you're done and you'll have to come back here and click again. But your goal is to find your way here where you'll see my assignments and there's the homework right there. That's what you want to click on. When you click on the homework, it pulls up like this. There's 12 questions. This is just basically about the syllabus. So question one, in the syllabus, it tells you the answer to, the, oh, so this question is put here to force you to actually read the syllabus. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna guess at what the answer is. And I'll tell you right now, that's not the right answer. And look how it gave me this big red X. And so now I feel frustrated. You get five tries on each of these questions. So if you're getting something wrong and you don't know why, you should reach out for help. And a great place to go for help is on the link. You know, hang on, let me let me go back. Here we are in Cengage, homework one. So here it's like click here to get the syllabus. But here's a link that takes you to where the TA and office hours are. So I should mm, I need I should shrink this so that you can actually see the link web.stat.tamu.edu slash tilde scott crawford ta crawford.html that's where the link takes you and here you can see all the stat 211 and these aren't just tas these are tas for stat 211 it says to be determined because we need to figure out where their office hours are going to be held but look at how many office hours there are all the time lots and lots of options and pe people willing to help you out so yes there is help by the way, this page also shows when class times are and you can click on it and it'll take you to the Zoom link for the class at that time. I think that you can get these same Zoom links here in Canvas. You go here to Zoom and there they are all. This is where the class recordings are going to show up too, by the way, which right now there are no recordings because this is before class starts, but there in Canvas is where you can get those class recordings. And by the way, I should mention that the, the cost of WebAssign comes out of your tuition, which is really good for people who have certain scholarships or whatever financial things that, that can work out of that that wouldn't work normally. But if you don't want that, and the reason why would be uh, you're taking another class that also has a Cengage material. And so they have this Cengage Unlimited thing. You pay 120 bucks and it covers all the classes, no matter how much there is. So this class is only like, 25 bucks, but if you uh, have other classes, it could end up being more. So the point is here under course materials, there's an opt out button. Last semester, that button didn't show up until after the semester started. So I'm assuming that's going to be true, which is why if I click it now, you wouldn't be able to see it. But that's where you'll go if you want to opt out of that. And what else can you do if you're struggling and you need help? Well, uh, let's see, you can oh, show, show grades. Well, of course, I have no grades yet, but Notice here's the homework, which we started and got uh, the first question we started wrong. There's also a posting thing. So I'm going to come here to the discussion board and let's look at postings for homework one. It actually says not available because I'm doing this before the class, which that's really annoying. I wish it would just, it says locked. Well, darn. Otherwise I could post and say, question one, I'm struggling. Can you help me out? What are you supposed to do if you need your point for posting on the discussion board? But let's say that you didn't have any questions on the homework and looking through there, you don't see other people's questions that you can answer. Go in there and just post. 
um, what was the last movie you saw, or post something that you enjoy. I guess, let me see, here's, here's teacher view instead of being in student, oh, it will let me post. <laughs> I get to post before class starts and you guys can't. So, uh, question one, can anyone help me? I can't figure out how to read the syllabus. Um, I'm, I'm, you might think that, that sounds like a silly thing, but no, people have actually said such things. Okay, and, and people can reply. It doesn't matter if you start a new question, if you reply to an old question, all of it counts. I'm going to also do one that's uh, any good movies, because my kids are always looking for a good movie. I'm going to also include a warning that, uh, well, Stranger Things was too scary for my kids, so there is apparently an upper limit. I, I thought they were, I have teenager kids, and they were like, Stranger Things, we didn't make it through the first season. So there, I'm going to post that as well. When you go on the discussion board, you can see these, you can reply to them, you can do your own thing, whatever. But this is a way for us to feel more united and for people to be able to get help, especially on questions. <laughs> All together now! If you do have a question on the homework, I'll give you a hint. Put question one, and then people are going to know that's about question one. Otherwise, you'll get five different people asking the same thing and you can't really tell. So there, so far I've got credit for doing the discussion posting, and now let's go back to the homework. I got question one wrong. Let's find a hard one. Ooh, here, this one's hard. What do you do if you're falling behind? Uh, crap. Well, you can do that, but it ain't gonna help. Teach it to someone else. Believe it or not, if you try to teach statistics and you don't fully understand it, while you're teaching, your brain will put the pieces in order. Trust me, it works surprisingly well. Um, post on the discussion board, yes. Form a study, great idea. Visit the instructor, sure. Give up, no. No, that is not the answer. Give up is not going to be here. Watch all the videos. Go visit the TA. Search for additional. It doesn't, it doesn't offend me if you find somebody who's teaching statistics online and they're doing a better job than me. Go with what works for you. Just wait. No, such a bad idea. This class builds on itself. The tests are cumulative because it's all building up to the final last chapter. Skip it and ignore it. Also bad. Find someone to talk to. Yeah. Statistics feels more like a foreign language than it does like a math class. Tell your roommates you hate it. Well, you may do that, but that's not going to be the end. Okay, so let's try, submit, yay, the green check. And now look, I am 3% of the way done with this assignment. So how can you be successful? Study while curled up in bed watching a movie. Okay. I can't tell you how many times I have tried this. It doesn't work. Watch the videos? Yes. Form a study group? Sure. Leave the homework until the day it's due. Oh my goodness. 30% of you do this. And it doesn't matter what day I set as the deadline for the homework. You wait until the day it's due to start. No. Jeez. Making this hard for yourselves. Look at your friend's answers. No. Fortunately, a lot of it's randomized, so you can't necessarily look at their answers. Draw pictures. Yeah. Everything we do in the class has a picture that's connected to it. Find people who can teach you, and you can teach them. Fantastic. Do the homework early. Get help. Get someone to give you the homework answers? No. Teach the material. That actually works, even if you feel like you don't understand it. Dedicate a set time every day to do the homework. Um, yeah, that's a great idea. And study with other people. Okay, so let's pretend I missed teach to someone else. This should give me the red X. It does. So then I'm going to like, oh, I don't know, let's take off that one, which was another good answer. Here's my second red X. Here's my third red X, which, by the way, if you resubmit the same answer, that doesn't count. It, it's got to be different answers. Skip the videos is a bad answer. And I want to show you what happens when you finally get it wrong for the fifth time. And now it's locked out. Oh, it actually tells you the answer key there, which... I'm debating whether it's bad to be showing you the answer key on there, but now when I scroll up to the top, now you've got this red X saying, I'm sorry, but you missed this one. And that's because after your fourth attempt, you should have been in talking to me or the TAs to get some help. All right, that's what you need to worry about right now. When you have 100% here, there isn't anything else you need to do. It is already submitted as you click submit. So there's not like a magic button saying, uh, I'm all done with the assignment. By the way, if you're late, there is a request extension where you can request an automatic extension. 
Uh, the rules for that are in the syllabus. There's also a question in the homework to make sure you understand exactly how that works. But if you've done the homework and you post it on the discussion board, I think you are good to go, even though you can't go in Canvas until it's time for class to start, because apparently that's how the program is run.